Hey everyone, Treasure Vest DFU. Um, so I'm actually supposed to be working, but I saw a video by our favorite reactionary, Pat Condell, and I felt that, you know, I should make a short video. Um, and I want to start at the at the end, basically, and just um, read out what Pat Condell said at the end of his video. The world needs to stop pretending Palestine is about justice and human rights and have the moral courage to call this thing what it is, to put a stop to the charade, this endless dance around a non-existent negotiating table, we need to do the Arabs a favor and tell them the truth they so badly need to hear, that their hatred is the cause of their misery. Um, now I'm going to bring up on screen here, hopefully if I figure it out, uh, the, um, the deaths in Israel by Palestinian terrorist attack. And as you can see, um, you know, 2007, 14 deaths, 300 injured, 2008, 48 deaths, 430 injured, 2009, 6 deaths, 24 injured, 2010, 10 deaths, 3 injured, and 2011, 19 deaths, and 92 injured. So it's obviously picking up again, which is unfortunate. Every single death is hugely regrettable, and the terrorists that are responsible for the murder of innocent Israeli civilians should be caught and they should face full justice. However, to, um, to kind of equivocate this with, with Palestinian hatred being the entire cause for this conflict, uh, it doesn't make any sense. If you, look at, if you look at the US, if you look at firearms deaths in the US, um, if you look at murders in the US, if you look at Mexico and the drug war, um, apparently, you know, compared to the hatred of Palestinians for Israelis, apparently Americans and Mexicans hate themselves a lot more than Palestinians hate Israelis. And I know the population sizes are different. And the other thing is obviously Israel is doing a good, fairly good job with security. So I'm sure there would be more Palestinians that would want to harm Israelis. And the fact is that violence in the last couple of years has significantly decreased. And one of those reasons was that there was a hope that with Obama and some new policy, there could actually be progress in the negotiations. When Pat Condell talks about a non-existing negotiating table, well, the problem is there has been a negotiating table, which was not really a negotiating table at all. It was basically a table out in the waiting hall where the Palestinians were supposed to sit and wait until every single terrorist in Palestine and every single person that wanted something bad to happen to any Israeli had disappeared and then maybe they could s start talking about giving Palestine a state which is their right by any definition of international law this shouldn't even be a precondition this should be a right the take home message of this video is <laughs> this there is no negotiating table there hasn't ever really been one it's always been a one-sided uh, game to just uh, buy time for Israel to build more settlements. Hatred being the cause of misery, BS. Um, the cause of misery of the Palestinian people is that they're being refused a state. The state could be easily implemented. Um, there would have to be negotiations about borders. And once that state is implemented, if that state attacks Israel, then the international community should respond accordingly but until then in my eyes at least um, the cause of the misery of the Palestinian people is the in intransigence of the US and Israel um, in not listening to either Palestine or the rest of the world uh, who've been demanding for decades that something be done about this serious problem um, and it's just now that you know that Israel is no longer able to maintain its complete blockade and isolation of Palestine, that people are starting to get worried that something might actually happen, that we have to actually talk about it again. Over the last couple of years where there was very little terrorism, but Palestine was still completely isolated, we didn't even have to mention it because obviously the situation was under control from uh, the American-Israeli perspective. Anyways, I'll see you guys all later. Have a good